Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today I am taking two of my favorite things, pineapple and cheesecake. I'm gonna put this together in a pie form called pineapple pie. It's got a tropical flavor, it's very easy to make, and it's gonna be very scrumptious. All right, as you can see, I'm ready to go. Make sure you have a can of crushed pineapple, and let's go ahead and get started. For the easy cheesecake part of this, what I'm going to do is take eight ounces of cream cheese. Now you want to bring this to room temperature or soften it, okay? Now there's times when I've had to put it in the microwave to get it soft. If you just pull it right out of the refrigerator. You don't want to do this step and have your cream cheese hard, okay? Then it won't blend very well. Alright, so I'm just going to put that into a medium bowl here. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of white granulated sugar. Got two eggs. Now these are large eggs and I just brought them to room temperature. Eggs will seize up on you when you're cooking with them and they're cold, okay? So you always want to make sure you pull them out and let them come to room temperature a little bit. And that'll make everything nice and fluffy. Okay, we've got half a cup of milk. And then half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, we're just going to take a hand mixer. We're going to blend this all together until it's nice and smooth. Go ahead and add half a teaspoon of vanilla and then just mix that together. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and set this aside. Okay, what we're going to do now is take our pineapple and we're going to caramelize it a little bit with some sugar. So just in a medium saucepan, I'm going to add half a cup of white granulated sugar. One tablespoon of some cornstarch as a thickener. And then you just need one cup of some crushed pineapple and the juice can be in it too so you don't have to strain it just whatever you can get out of the can here oh yeah I love pineapple and since we're only using a cup here look at all that pineapple I have in there <laughs> all right I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my pan here What I'm going to do is just put this on a medium heat. And what you want to do is continually stir this until it's all combined. And it'll start warming up. So many ways to make cheesecake. I love this one because you combine the fruit into it. It's so delicious. All right, now that we got it nice and mixed, we're going to go ahead, we're going to bring the temperature up to where we can start bringing this to a boil. Now, once it comes to a boil, you just want to continually stir it for two minutes. Oh, it smells so good as it's warming up with that sugar. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Okay, as you can see, I got a nice boil right here. So what we're going to do is just continually mix this for two minutes. It should start to get really thick because we got that cornstarch in there acting as that thickener. So just make sure you continually stir it so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Okay, now that we got kind of like a jelly consistency here, you see that, right? What we're gonna do is turn off our burner. Let this sit on the burner or off the burner for just a few minutes. What we wanna do is cool this down. While that's happening, we're gonna go ahead and get our crust ready. 
Okay, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Now I'm using a nine inch deep pie plate here and I'm going to put in one of these pie crusts from the refrigerator. Now it's uncooked. I'm just gonna unroll it. Now I've pulled this out of the refrigerator and allowed it to sit at room temperature so that I can easily unroll it like this right here. If you don't do that, you're gonna have real problems with it because you're gonna try to unroll it really cold and it's just gonna break on you. Okay, now, as you notice, I did not spray my pie plate. You don't need to with these pie crust. All right, I'm just gonna go around, even this out. Make sure it's all down into the edges there. I'm just gonna take a fork and then I'm just going to crimp the edges. The pineapple sauce is warm, so what we're going to do now is just take it and put it into the bottom of our pie dish. Okay, we're just going to evenly spread it out. I'm going to taste there. Mmm, that is so delicious. Okay, we're going to take our cream cheese mixture and we're going to pour it all over the pineapple mixture. Now you are going to see little bits of cream cheese and that's totally fine. Okay, I'm going to place this in our oven that's been preheating at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Then what we're going to do is lower the temperature to 325 degrees, cook this an additional 50 to 55 minutes. We want the center of this pie to be set. Now, if your crust on the outside appears to be getting more brown than you would like, we can certainly put a ring around it or some tin foil. I'll be back. I've just pulled this out of the oven and I've just placed it on a cooling rack. We're going to allow this to rest until it is completely cooled and then we can cut into it. Now I just want to, I just want to let you know that I did have this on the bottom rack of the oven and then I had some tin foil around the outer edge with a pie ring. Okay, look at this piece of pie. Do you see the layers? Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. Here's my fork. Okay, I'm not gonna be the only one giving this a try. I got a taste tester here today. Y'all ready? Here he is. delicious. Mmm. Very custardy. Yes. It's not like really in your face pineapple, but oh my gosh, it's delicious. It's really not. It's very mild. I thought it'd be stronger than that. Yeah, it's with that cream cheese just mellows it out a little bit. Mm, it's really good though. Yeah, it's like a custard almost. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's really good. That's good. You guys, you need to make this one. And when you do, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you inviting yourself over again? Yeah, I hope you eat it. <laughs> That's where he is all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> okay, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you share this one with family and friends. They're going to want to make this with Easter coming up, yeah. spring coming up, any time. Gosh, it is so good. All right, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. Guys, Give me your comments. You know, I love to see your comments. All right, anything else? Make it. It's good. Just make it. It's really good. <laughs> okay, we will see you on my next episode. Bye.